Many middle schools start in sixth grade, which is often seen as the traditional year for that. But at Worcester Middle School, we start in the fifth grade. Fifth graders come to us with this openness still to the world around them and this ability to take risks that sometimes through the adolescent years tends to diminish a little bit as they worry about finding out who they are and where they fit in the world. So when we start in fifth grade, we have this lovely transitional time between an elementary student and a secondary student. And what that allows us to do is to really take four years, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, and establish a strong relationship with that student, really get to know them through that journey. And as we do that, help them to understand who they are as human beings and who they are as learners. So the content in middle school is, is really important and that's the vehicle that we use. But we really want students to walk out the door in eighth grade having built some strong foundations of skills to be learners. We gently wade into the middle school waters by emphasizing study skills, uh, particular test-taking strategies, outlining, mapping, and memorization techniques. One of my goals is to encourage that love of learning with interesting and interactive activities that are hands-on and allow students to really put the ideas that they're learning in the classroom into practice. The climate here at Worcester where the students support each other every day, all the time, is very special. I find it incredibly rewarding to come to work and in an environment where everybody is trying to do each and every day better than the day before in terms of the outcomes that they get with the kids. When you couple that with people with real genuine expertise in what they're doing, it's a tough combination to beat. So we know that in middle school, there are going to be challenges and we want students to have that trust and have that relationship. We really think that four years is, is a great period of time for us to, to do all of this work and to send our students off to the challenges of some more uh, complex content as they move into the high school years. An ideal that we're trying to live up to in the way that we structure our middle school program is that a great day of learning does not look just one way. And we have 96 students in our middle school right now, and a great day of learning actually looks 96 different ways. 